you see Gohan and it's like he got his shunning gun unlocked with those red eyes and blue aura that literally engulfs everyone. Yep. Look at look at that eye though. Loki, it does look like the Dragon Ball Z Dragon Ball Super version of the Sharing Gun. With this transformation alone. Sat the people since your boy Blaze here. Back to you with another one here for Venomous Reactions. And today we got ourselves a video here from Blank Boy. And this is when Beast Gohan and Piccolo read the two man versus Cell Max. Uh, I can easily say that Dragon Ball Super Superhero, easily one of the top 10 Dragon Ball movies out there today. And I say that with utmost confidence because the action, the animation, and the fact that we get to see Gohan and Piccolo get that shine on like finally <laughs> it's been forever since both of them had a had a new form and power up but I will say this uh, when they went up against the whole new red ribbon army uh gamma one and gamma two bro you would have thought they would have got cooked but lo and behold they had a few tricks up their sleeves. Oh, especially when Cell Max came onto the scene. Like, it was beyond epic. So we're gonna see what Blake Boy is talking about with this one, man. Yo, I guarantee you the commentary is gonna be hilarious with this one. It's all, it always is with him or Codename Superman. Both of them is killing it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah, damn, headphones is, headphones is falling off and whatnot. Damn. So Piccolo was supposed to be doing his job that he's been reduced to at this point in Dragon Ball Z of being a stepfather, taking care of Pan, which when I think about it, could finally dispel any of the headcanons that he's black. But Piccolo failed his job because the ops caught the poor girl literally just walking home from elementary school. They out here moving like Michael Jackson, straight spawn campers. So Piccolo Not needing Michael Gohan's Jackson. help disguises as one of the Red Ribbon soldiers to deliver the news and have him come out of retirement. I know that Guy be talking to Gohan every couple months like the Green Goblin mask was to Norman Osborn. And this got me weak because this man Piccolo is really oh, swearing that he's incognito. He thinks we can't see him. But ultimately... <laughs> you Piccolo like, bro, if you don't go to that place and get your damn daughter back, oh, I am going to reach through this window and punch you right in the damn face. Boy, power up. There's danger on your stomping ground. For crying out loud oh man the way they slow cooked this it was frustrating at times but it made it made it worth the wait it was irritating but the end result whew, chef's kiss bravissimo ultimately his plan works and gohan tweaks out thing is gohan's not playing around so he gives his enemies that taken speech I will find you, and I will kill you. So we see Dr. Hedo and Bats. the gamblers posted outside waiting for Gohan's pull-up like 50 people deep. Meanwhile, Goku and Vegeta can't slide with Gohan because they're all fighting each other on Beerus' planet. Y'all unks gotta let it go. As usual. Gohan peeps Pan and immediately gets on BT bad time and literally just booms the airship. Whew. Crazy thing is, look at the pilot's face. He's just a regular human. Well, I guess now he's just regular human chunks. Gohan lands in front of the whole Basically, army yes. by himself and is just straight mean mugging everyone. I can't lie though, the glasses make this a lot less threatening, but I guess it's better than the alternative. Which one of y'all <laughs> just took my daughter? Gohan Bats. keeps pan and wastes no time, just charges right in. Got Dr. Hedo hitting the Odell Beckham Jr. But as <laughs> Gohan is charging in, Gamma 2 beats him to the spot and kicks his ass right back down to earth. And we all know Gohan's body. He been having anger issues since he was legit. So he start talking crazy. Yep. Who's a bitch ass nigga? Taking off the cape. My thing is, who gave bro the N-word pass? Was it Oop? Stop it. Can't be. <laughs> not with that cut. He not one of us. Maybe it was Mr. Popo? If that's the case, it's valid. He's so black he look purple. You can take him. 
Damn. Oh, what type of gay shit you on right now, bruh? So Gohan is just standing there ready to box and Gamma One starts walking up on him menacingly. Hey, you ready to run the pain, bro? He's pissed off and locked in. Gamma One starts walking, quickly turning into a full sprint as Gohan blocks his first attack. No, nope. he's moving like he's in peak form, couldn't even tell Bo's fresh off retirement as he blocks the left, gets his kick block, and lays him out like a mattress. Lizzo was like, ah, yes, finally, somewhere to lay down. So Gamma One, not wanting to suffocate, rises back up, headbutting Gohan, and they begin to hold hands in the rain. Dr. Hedo on the sideline watching the fight, thinking about cupcakes in the back of his mind, and for whatever reason, the holding hands is getting him hype. You're gay! You're, he's gay! <laughs> this nigga celebrating like Dr. Frankenstein in the fact that there's flamboyancy in his android. But going back to the fight, Gohan gets uh, tripped, uh, uh. gets his arm locked and slammed as Gamma 1 starts charging up his shooting strike right towards <laughs> Gohan. But Gohan been catching ass beating since he was six years old, broke out that Mark Grayson durability. Taking the flaming kick head on, trying to block mm -hmm. it as the impact causes the whole stage to blow up to pieces. Nobody's yes. standing around is sure what happened. There's too much smoke and rubble to see anything. So Piccolo assumes the worst and wastes no time, started plotting already. I'm finna be your new daddy. No, my dad's gonna win. Yeah, okay. I've been <laughs> Piccolo like, uh, yeah, if you don't go to that place, uh, yeah, um, I may have to step in as, uh, the father, uh, substitute. But then again, Piccolo's not, Piccolo's not a stranger to that because y'all know, uh, Piccolo, Gohan, Gohan's real dad. Because <laughs> Goku, yeah. If you know, you know. But yeah, Piccolo was more Gohan's dad than Goku. And, <laughs> and honestly, Piccolo's like, yeah, if he don't go to that place, uh, yeah. Everybody's everybody is cooked at this point. So I may have to step in and uh regulate some shit. Which he did later on, but still. Waiting for this moment. Flashback. He did it again, huh? Left you to go train? I wouldn't do you like this, and I put that on planet Namek. And a flashback. <laughs> go home, man. Shit out. Final warning. We gotta be honest, Gohan came out of retirement and he looking washed. Jake Paul about to challenge him to a boxing match soon. Desperate to beat the washed Damn. allegations, Gohan charges back in, only to end up going over 12 on all his nope. hits. He nope. wrote it so bad, I can't even say he went out there and even put up tour dates. And as if that wasn't bad enough, he gets Ouch. knee, chin check, legs grabbed, and gets tossed. Over here juggling his glasses, bro trying to make sure he see his own ass whooping in 4K. He manages to recover his vision. <laughs> Helen Keller cannot relate, just to see himself throw- Yeah, man. Yo, that scene was retarded. Like, bro was fumbling, trying to catch his glasses, but bro, you get your ass kicked. Dish the glasses for crying out loud. And just go to that, go to that, ultimate gohan form just go to that form already and start giving out the beats already uh, like i said the way they slow cook this it's frustrating at times but the end result made it worth the wait just wait and see Going through the ground up into the sky at this point, I'm just confused as to why Gohan is still in base form. Your child is on the line. Put that same exactly. pride away. So, where's the rest of the trio? Where's Goku and Vegeta? Man, fuck the big three. It's just big me. Shut your dumb ass up. You're not Kendrick, nigga. Gohan oh. out here talking spicy like Damn. he didn't peak back in 2000. I wasn't even born yet when he was in his prime. Gamma hits him with the left knee. So he yeah, he, to the ground, he, he got the watched. Landing. But Gohan has decided enough is enough. I'm tired of eating elbows and kneecaps. As he transforms, going Super Saiyan 1 or 2, you can't really tell the goddamn difference. <laughs> you really can't. Gave him 2020 vision doesn't need the glasses anymore. Gamma 1 still standing there like he heard an Eminem song in 2024, unimpressed, <laughs> as he gets hit back to back twice into a right uppercut and a left hook. Gohan's PTSD is soon to trigger though from a traumatic event back when he was a little kid because Gamma steals one of his own moves. Flying in, headbutting Gohan right in the chest, charging the yep. two of them right towards the mountain behind. And we all know the Saiyan's weaknesses, good haircuts, lesbians, and getting dragged through the terrain as Gohan gets pressed throughout the not, not the three weaknesses being good haircuts and 
lesbians and getting drugged through the terrain. <laughs> Black boy is stupid, man, but where's the lie? Where is the lie? <laughs> The mountain, get in the back of his head straight, shaved off. Got bro looking like these. Gohan tells Ooh. Gamma One. This is coming Stop touching niggas with your head. head. Blasting bro off of him and loads up a Kamehameha right towards him as he just might jack leans out the way. <laughs> After almost getting his mohawk shaved off, which Gohan would have been doing you a favor, gang, Gamma One decides fuck all this karate shit, shooting Gohan and getting it spiked down, almost booming all the spectators. And for those who don't know, mm. Gamma One is actually also a good guy. He's just confused that thinks Gohan is a bad guy. So he's distracted, yep. worried about the soldiers down below. As Gohan knees him and hits a spinning kick, knocking him back down to the ground and starts sprinting back in. And this is why people be clowning DBZ as a show that's just punch, kick, kick. Because where's the strategy? Where's the tactics? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results is the definition of slowness. Getting rocked with a right as they yes. both start charging back in into one another and start holding hands again. Gohan's fighting for his life down here, and there's two very different expressions going on in the stands. Let's go, Dad! I'm about to jump in there. Videl, you will be mine. Piccolo really loved to just stand there in the background staring at his mans getting pieced up, huh? That day on Namek yep. was when Gohan realized Piccolo ain't like that. You a fraud! Oh, 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 I'm a fraud! Who's <laughs> can't do? I'm eight! Gohan kicks Gamma 1 and they back up to one another, but I don't know what happened after that kick. Because Gamma starts to lock in, Gohan done beat the tryhard into him. Catches Gohan's mm. right hand, throwing him, locking the kick, mm. locking him away, and then hits the Black Widow, mm. wrapping his legs around him and slamming <laughs> Gohan to the ground. Mm. Quickly, I got a shout out my second channel. If y'all could go show some love, I'll really appreciate that. Y'all already been showing so much love. Just posted the Miles Morales and Peter Parker fight where they're beefing over who gets to clap MJ. That mission was fire. Go support. <laughs> Thank Damn. you. I really appreciate it. Moving on. Yeah, show him some love, y'all. ain't done yet. You, but you personally, I think we ain't done yet. Dodging <laughs> Gohan's kick into a new backbreaker, karate chop, stomach kick, <laughs> palming bro's face like a basketball. You know that what they combo. say, like father, like son, and it's clear. Ooh, that that is eerily similar to how Broly did Goku in the DBC version, and I ain't gonna lie, man. Like father, like son, they got washed the exact same way. But man, get but man, Gamma One did <laughs> Gohan dirty, bro. It was at that point Gohan should have just went up, well, pretty much up the ante, just go ultimate. And <sighs> Gohan, you better, you better realize that uh, yeah, slow cooking the battle will be your biggest downfall, bro, my guy. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Really true. I can't wait for my Danny Phantom going ghost powers to kick in. Gamma One <laughs> hits him with a clothesline, spinning bro around. <laughs> Into rubble. It's not looking good for a Gohan. He pulled it up ain't. looking to save the day, and now he's out here hitting the Will You Marry Me instead. So Piccolo and Pan come up with a plan, staging her being choked to piss Gohan off, which we all know is a foolproof plan. Frieza signed his death. Man, if it wasn't for Piccolo doing that, oh. Gohan would not have went to that place and went ultimate. I mean, Piccolo had to stage something to piss Gohan off and take him to that place. Like, Piccolo, you wise, my guy. I see you. I see what you're doing there. Making Gohan go to that place. Good job. And chef's kiss. Death wish the day he killed Krillin. You don't ever touch a man's cheerleader like that. And it works. <laughs> Gohan begins to start bro. raging like he'd been playing some Black Ops 2, transforming into Ultimate Gohan, which looks the exact fucking same as regular Gohan to me. I remember everybody in the theater was cheering, and I'm just looking like... <laughs> what the fuck happened? Gohan starts charging in, and his punch gets caught, hitting him with a right-left kick. As Gamma One is mm -hmm. tumbling backwards from that barrage of attacks, Gohan from behind bops him into Ooh. the ground to eat straight chunks of concrete. And y'all already know how Ultimate Gohan be getting way too cocky sometimes. Yep. Tortoise and the hair whenever he's in that form. Cause Gamma One is raging and Gohan turns his back on bro to leave the fight. 
Ultimate mm-hmm. Gohan be treating his opponents like stuff to him. Like everyone cuts this off is his what path, pissed me off, bro. in such a manner. I'm not sorry like Yamcha. I was built specifically to beat you. Trash, the weakest air droid I've ever had to fight against. Now that right there lets you know for a fact that Gohan ain't ever have to fight Android 19. They really tried to make us intimidated by bro by having him kill Yamcha, like... Yeah, Yamcha out of all people! I gotta put some respect on my name! Shooting his gun at Gohan, getting that shit smacked away from the whole terrain. Dr. Hedo is starting to come to the realization that his creation was gonna be turned into scraps, so he does the only option he has left. Ayo, jump his ass! As Gamma 2 begins yep. sprinting in quick, Android 19 and 20, Android 17 and 18, now these two, I guess they yep. all got that built-in We and Running Ones badge equipped from birth. <laughs> Gamma 2 gets hit and turns around Pass. to see Piccolo standing behind him straight mm-hmm. like, sitting nope. there thinking, I'm is gonna enter this battle help, now. Man. But if Gohan's struggling, what is there that you're really about to do? And Piccolo must have heard me, busting out his shirt, showing off his new transformation. I remember mm-hmm. when this first drop, niggas thought it was just different lighting. Bro, basically the same. He ain't do nothing but step back. Gohan can't believe it, but has to lock in. He's already busy. Dodging we, Gamma we, 1 and they continue yeah, to box. Keep your eyes so on the fight, Gohan. So that forces into an ISO, but he's 7-5 and dark skin. This is nothing new for him. This is my potential unleashed form. Niggas be 45 talking about my potential got unleashed. Gamma 2, now in the track and field starting position, goes in to get his punch caught and then kneed and then launched into the terrain. It's been a minute since I've seen Piccolo step in and just get straight to action like this. Bro been straight man. Man, facts, man. It, it's been a minute since we've seen Piccolo, like, pull out all the stops. And you know what? I was here for it because, you know, Piccolo, he does put in work, but yeah, in the series... You know, he put in work when he needs to, but in the movie, oh, like I said, he definitely got his chance to shine, and I was here for every bit of it. Because it's been a minute since Piccolo had a new power up, ever since he fused with Kami. And that was it. All everything he everything he has done was basically him training to get stronger. There was new, there was no new form or nothing. Just him getting stronger. But seeing that new form, oh, I, I I said to myself that there's gotta be more to it. And lo and behold, it was more to it. Mary Poppins for too long. I know he'd been feeding like a cracker to fight for a while now. Not, hey, not yo, I got crack. Next. Gohan blocks, hits Gamma 1, and Lil bros him into a headlock, and this is so OD, because in the middle of having this man in the Ooh. RKO, he starts <laughs> conversating with Piccolo, slamming him on his head. Nah, Gohan really Why? Tired. Gamma 1 got up looking like these, and it doesn't <laughs> stop, as Gohan kicks him up an uppercut into a slip back kick, Ooh. sending him away. Gamma 1 said I eat those, charging back in, getting his attack blocked. They begin talking to each other, and the cameraman pans away because he knows this is Dragon Ball post Boo arc. Nobody here for the plot anymore. Piccolo and Gamma 2 are going blow for blow until Piccolo goes flying mm-hmm. through a wall. And I don't know where the hell he learned this from, Robin Lincoln with Toph Beifong or something, because he starts earth bending the rubble. But hey, since DBZ yeah, I that are was getting sick, out of universe powers, we should give Krillin the great Toad Sage from Naruto's ability to tell the future. So he can at least now know and see his ass beatings are coming and throws it at Gamma Damn. 2, who with the blicky blows it up, dodging all the debris in the process, looking like Neo in this hole from the Matrix. And then he goes to Old Reliable, the movie he been using since 87, special beam cannon, loading it yep. up, firing it off right at Gamma 2, but ultimately it did not matter because Dr. Hedo already knew this from the scouting report on Piccolo and created a counter which is this bubble dispersing a special beam cannon in mad different directions. Mm. So if Dr. Hedo had the scouting report for Piccolo, y'all think he had one for everyone else too? Like, what did y'all oh, yeah. say? Be careful to catch <laughs> TND from him, trash nigga disease? <laughs> Not trash nigga disease. <laughs> Yo, they did Yalcha dirty. Yo, can spread TND, trash nigga disease. <laughs> Hey, you see why Yautja gave up fight, man? Because ain't no way in the hell he could keep up. Hell, he couldn't even keep up with TN. And no disrespect to TN, but, yo, know, TN is like, TN is like second as far as human fighters next to Krillin. 
and <laughs> they did y'all to grimy, but damn. E and D from him, trash nigga disease. Gamma two comes through, kicking Piccolo Ooh. right in the stomach, but Piccolo grabs him and then kicks him, Ooh. making that boy hit a fadeaway. Okay, my turn. Flying to Piccolo to then knee him, getting a piece mm -hmm. off until Piccolo Ooh. reverses it, kneeing him, and starts flying down. And I'm thinking maybe this is strategical from Piccolo, because he's been doing a really good job so far. He gotta have something up his sleeve. Yo, chill gang, let me get a five. Is this nigga serious? Bro, his flight reacts. Five, Only person bro. I ever seen doing half times in a one on one pickup. Gamma 2 hits him with a right left uppercut and then grabs like, the no half time points in this around. one. And after you wanted he's to smoke? I'll give you the smoke. That Piccolo on the brink of throwing up all over himself. He tosses Piccolo into the sky and then volleyball spikes him back down. Mm. That hit was so intense, Piccolo's entire large intestines, bladder, liver, all that scrambled up like some eggs. So he's it was GG's down, after that. Really like or so we thought. For Unk. Piccolo being a top tier fighter is off pure reputation at this point. Bro's the DBZ Ice Cube, the gangster that makes family movies. But Shenron decides Damn. to bless Piccolo with some more power, unlocking his god key as he's falling down. Dr. Hedo seeing another transformation just like... As a giant yep. explosion happens, sending fire Ooh. everywhere, and there he is. Orange Piccolo is revealed to us. Look at straight. I ain't gonna hold you, man. See, seeing Piccolo in orange form, absolute badassery. And I'm like, yes, we finally get to see Piccolo in that shot. I, I'm trying to go back to it, but ugh. I, I hate, I hate the drag. I hate the drag point of YouTube sometimes. You don't get the accuracy, but yo, seeing Piccolo in orange form, that transformation was complete badassery. I'm not even going to hold you. And and that was just one of two transformations that would be mm, pure chef's kiss. Like, you, you have to see the movie to understand, like, how epic this was for Piccolo's case. Have been sending fire everywhere, and there he is. Orange Piccolo is revealed to us, looking mm, straight, mm, menacing, mm. ready to call GG. But I'm not gonna lie, this shit is mad anticlimactic, bro. Because it, Gamma it 2 was. him and charges in, unleashing straight haymakers that are having absolutely zero effect on Piccolo whatsoever. Eventually, after him just being it's like Piccolo, the same Piccolo's left, right, like, are you done? Over again, are you done? One last right, looks up at Piccolo and realizes that he's absolutely cooked. That is, unless Krillin comes through to save the day again because he's trying to fuck this android too. As Piccolo cocks his hand I'm back done. to far, unleashing an insane right got him glitching. So he's looking like raps <laughs> for the Red Ribbon Army, but Magenta knows that they have Cell Max yep. stored away. So he dips out on Dr. Hedo to go activate him. And I'ma just be honest with y'all, the Cell Max fight is kinda cheeks. I don't wanna cover it. Bro is just giant while everyone's flying around shooting random attacks at him. No type of boxing, really. But they're very. Yeah, I can honestly see why. I mean, the fight with Cell Max, uh, it, it was kind of, uh, it was serviceable. I'll say that it was serviceable, but yeah, I, I can see why Blade Boy doesn't want to cover that. But I have a feeling he's gonna cover it just for the one main reason. And if you know, you know. The ending is cool, so we could do it real quick. So Piccolo had went Thanks. giant to face off against Cell Max and mm -hmm. guess his shit twerked, appearing to be dead, which of course pisses Gohan off to the absolute max. If yep. I was facing a Saiyan, I'm playing cute puppy videos, telling them funny <laughs> jokes, making sure none of sexy red music is being played nearby. I'm not trying to piss Hell them off. No. We see Gohan and it's like he got his shutting gun unlocked with those red eyes and blue aura that literally engulfs everyone. Yep. Look at look at that eye though. Loki, it does look like the Dragon Ball Z Dragon Ball Super version of the Sharon God. With this transformation alone. And it was just, and it was at that moment I just felt my soul cry. Cause we finally get to see Gohan go to that place. Which we haven't seen since the days of the Cell games. And once that red line went across 
his whole entire essence. Oh, I already knew it was GG's for Cell Max. Like, easy. Seeing Piccolo getting blasted damn near to smithereens. Oh, yes, it was enough. And lo and behold, we got the transformation we always wanted. Oh, I love it. Got his shining gun unlocked with those red eyes and blue aura yep. that literally engulfs everyone around him. And you already know, the cameraman got to do his job to mm -hmm. make sure he gets the angles right. As we see Gohan, or maybe I shouldn't just call him Gohan anymore. This is Gohan Beast, and it looks so fire, bro. Each transformation for the Saiyans be like putting on a new pair of shoes. The fit mm -hmm. is absolutely mandatory. So you already know, Gohan just stands there for a second, posing. And here we go. As he charges in with the right, hitting Gohan, that had so much force behind it, the literal wind from the attack is destroying the terrain. But all of that was for nothing, because Gohan hits him with the light work, no reaction. Casually moving bro's hand My with such force, he goes flying back, which creates a giant dust storm that Gohan can't see through. But the smoke is eventually all cleared up because this man's Sun Max created a giant sphere attack so big it's protruding out of the goddamn planet. Now with this rod wave sized orb above him, naturally you'd think this would bring nothing but fear in the heart of Gohan. But even with Cell Max standing there holding there. that over his head, Gohan's just cheesing. And I don't know how, but Piccolo clearly had no pupils a second ago. Had us all convinced he was on King Kai's planet with Chaozu <laughs> lying to Lil Bro telling Facts. him they finna wish him back soon. He's alive somehow, and wraps Cell Max up with his long ass Victor Wemanyama arms to hold him in place for Gohan. And this is just poetry, because Piccolo was on one side of the tag team attack with Goku, and now with Goku's son, he's on the opposite side. As Gohan starts charging up the special beam cannon, he's able to charge it up all the way, firing it off towards Cell Max. <laughs> Cell Max knows there's nothing he could do to move out the way, so yeah, he decides it was GG's to for him. Gohan out with him, throwing his attack at the special beam cannon as they meet in the middle to create some insane colors and effects. Got me feeling like RDJ pre-Iron Man. Every anime like this should have an epilepsy warning before it. Should be having me in the theater. <laughs> but ultimately, Cell Max's attempt failed because Gohan's beam still pushes through striking him in the cool. cranium and that's ggs this is for telling telling the news reporter that one time that i'm your sidekick pussy I ain't, I ain't gonna hold you gohan doing the special beam cannon was a thing of beauty because it's like yo bro when did you when did you set aside the time to learn this technique piccolo was like thinking to himself like i didn't teach you this where did you learn this from but, but lo and behold, Piccolo was proud. Like, you finally graduated. About damn time. But yo, Gohan Beast, that transformation, and just his whole demeanor alone. Mm -mm -mm. He's like, you know what? I may just be able to beat my dad now. I may just be able to beat Ultra Instinct now. Or this, or maybe, or maybe both Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego. It's like, hmm, Dad, you up for a challenge? <laughs> I got a new four. Yo, I cannot wait to see them do that. Gohan versus Goku at their ultimate forms. Ultra Instinct versus Beast Four. Hmm. I would love to see it. But yo, let me know what y'all thoughts are about this one, man. Yo, yo, did Gohan and Piccolo get their moment in the sun? Finally. And what did y'all think of the new forms that they gave him? Orange Piccolo and Gohan Beast. Yo, let the comment section have it. And as always, thank y'all for tuning in. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this one. And don't forget to tell your peoples across the globe. to kick it with your boys this one good solid time. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to click that bell so you don't miss a video from the kid. You heard me. And please feel free to follow me on social media right over yonder. And that's here's your boy Blaze here saying check the deuce. And I will see y'all in the next video. And I'm out.